Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rocket League Fundamentals. Today, we're going to be talking about speed. As you play Rocket League more and more, you'll start to notice that you get faster naturally over time. In order to become comfortable as a faster player, you have to practice how you want to play, which means that you have to go out of your comfort zone while playing ranked and training. If you want to improve on playing faster, then here's a little drill that will help you take you out of your comfort zone and improve at a faster rate. Whenever you have some free time on your hands, I want you to jump into free training and hit the ball around while moving supersonic. Once you are at a supersonic speed, I want you to maintain that speed by tapping boost every couple of seconds and try to get consistent and constantly making contact with the ball, no matter if it's in the air or on the ground. Being a faster player is really important because once you get comfortable with it, then you become more confident on the field, which is a big step into becoming the best player that you could possibly be. A big key to playing fast and being consistent at it is to make sure that you're tapping the brake before some of your aerials. This allows you to maintain supersonic speed on the ground, but also makes it so that you're not flying by the ball and whiffing if you're moving too quick. Now let's take a look at turn Turo to see how effective it is to play fast while also being in the right spots in the field. Once he takes the big boost pad, he quickly moves into a position to follow up a breakout pass from Kronovi. Since version 1 aren't on defense yet, he decides to boom it off the backboard while maintaining speed to beat out the defense. Once he lands, he's able to score because he breaks before his aerial so that he could place it in the perfect spot on net. There's a common misconception in Rocket League where people think that moving fast is the only way to play fast. That's correct in some cases, but most of the time, being in a better position on the field than your opponent will enable you to be faster to the ball and leave them in the dust. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and stay speedy out there.